Hey YouTube, Rocky here again. Welcome to a quick impromptu video. I've just received in the post a Zipstick um, Classic Amiga joystick. I'm playing it with my, for obviously use of my Amiga. And I discovered that it wouldn't go left. So rather than, well, before I sent it back, uh, I was thought I'd uh, have a look see if I could repair it. Now, a Zipstick is a micro switch joystick, so basically that means, you know, so. This is actually right, so if you look at Switchblade 2, push that, it goes right, so it's down, and if I go uh, down, and it fires one of these. And now the first thing I did was, when I took it apart, to test that the connections were still working, what I'm going to do is, I've taken off the micro switch for left, because left wasn't working, and if I just cross the two of them, you'll see that left does work. So what I then did was I've take, taken off the micro switch. Oh, this is a little cover on here. I've taken it off, and what I did was using my old trusty Fluke seventy seven multimeter here. I tested the contacts. Now what was happening was when I was bridging these two. I'm just going to have to show you here. So I'll put a crocker clip on this one. Put that in there. When I was bridging the two of them, what was happening was I was shutting the circuit and nothing was happened. But when I do it now, yeah, that, that means there's a circuit. Basically what happened is, I don't know how you're going to be able to see this. Over time, contacts here and here had gone dirty. So when it was closing, like that, it wasn't making a circuit, so it wasn't going left. So what I'm going to do now, give it a quick clean. I'm going to pop its cover back on, like so, so you, uh, there we go, and what I'll do is I will, this is the ring that comes out the joystick, so the joystick sits like that through there, so we need to do, 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 do. I think this works, that has to go in like that, and there's a screw that holds it in, so we'll just screw that back in. Something I like about my old micro switch stuff, you know, it's digital is either on or off, so pretty easy to repair. So now plug in the common earth and the left. So now when I push this, if you look at the screen here, so there's right and left, it's working great. So uh, uh, well, actually, when I opened up the case, to be honest, uh, even the bottom of the zip stick, it was dirty. Like, just trying for the year, so I'll just give it a spray it out, make sure I got the crap out of it. Uh, maybe even go over like some like flash bleach wipes, see if I can get any rubbish out of it. Especially like if you see there, and just here, that's like just dirt from well, oh, that's just old dirt. So I'll give it a quick clean. And I'm gonna put it back together and I'll give you I'll catch you in a mo. And there we go guys. Reassembled and clicking away great. So let's have a wee play with one of my favourite Amiga platformers. Switch so blade two. And so here we go. Left, right, up, uh, I'm um, this. That's. There we go, that's it. Love this game. So there you go guys. It's just a quick impromptu uh, zipstick repair video. Just goes to show you don't believe everything an eBay seller will tell you. Oh it's tested, it's working. Is it buggery tested? But um, luckily that one was just a case of uh, cl a quick clean. But if it had been like a break in the connector it would have been going back. As often happens you know that sometimes the cable breaks inside. So 
Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.